My name is Kia Billingsley. I'm back again with another video. Today, I just wanted to do this video about my thoughts on my iPhone XR, guys. I picked this up on launch day, which was last, which was Friday, guys. So, that's I've had two days to play with the phone and I feel like I'm ready to give you my thoughts on this device so let's get into it first of all the color I love love this blue color guys so nice it's just glossy I like pulling it out of my pocket when I have a clear case on it and looking at it and then I love how the uh around it is trimmed in blue but it's a different color blue and it's aluminum i'm really loving that i feel like apple did a good job on picking the colors for this device guys this is a 6.1 inch screen as you can see and to me this fits perfectly in my hand guys it's not too big it's not too small this is a sweet spot for me 6.1 inch even though I love big phones, but this, this, this right here, this is the perfect size for me, guys. I'm telling you, I'm really loving this phone for the two days I've had it. You know, I've been using it like crazy, checking out everything that um comes loaded on the device, you know, checking out the new gestures because there is no home button, you know. That wasn't hard for me to get used to. I'm running it like a champ, guys. Now the big thing, the screen, guys, that screen, you you all wanted to know about the screen. Yes, it's an LCD display, guys. It's not OLED like the bigger ones, like the XS and the X Max, guys. For them, in order for Apple to make this device start at $749, they had to put a LCD screen in there guys because when you start putting better better screens better screen screen quality on the devices that makes the devices go up higher and higher especially with the design guys is the screen bad nope not at all at least it's not bad to me I'm loving the screen guys you know not that bad at all I can see everything and yes I've put it up against the uh xs and the x max you can tell a little difference but it's not horrible you know i'm not focusing on that i i, I love the device the screen is perfect for me I, that's what i'm gonna tell y'all it's what you like not what i like y'all can only come here and listen to what i have to say but it's all up to you and what you think about the device and as of right now i'm loving this device there's really nothing I really don't have any complaints with the device as of right now. Like I said, I've only had this device for two days. So we'll see how that goes. But basically, I don't think I'm going to have a problem with it because all iPhones are really technically the same. The apps are set up the exact same way and everything like that. So, you know, you get the apps all on one screen. So I'm having a ball with it. Like I said, fits perfectly in my hand. That notch is not bothering me at all, you know. I'm not going to say it's like it's not even there because it is there, but it's not bothering me. People are complaining about the thicker bezels around the phone. To me, that looks good. I actually like those a little thicker bezels, just a little bit. I actually like that. I don't I don't actually like the thinner bezels on the XS or the X Mac Max. I actually like these thicker bezels around here. And like I said, I've played with both of those devices. People had them and I've held them and played with it. And uh, this, uh, the iPhone XR, yes, it's a little wider than the XS and the X Max, just a little bit, not much. And it has that single camera lens. But guys, like I'm saying, people out here complaining about the screen, about the camera, because it doesn't have two cameras like the other phones guys like the newer phones that's really not a big deal for me guys because if you got to think about this I almost dropped it you have to think about this guys before they start making two cameras on a phone there was always one single camera on a phone guys one camera 
And this is a 12 megapixel camera on the back. When we were getting those older phones with one camera, they were only like eight, eight, and six and seven megapixels on the back. So guys, don't um I don't want y'all out there complaining too much, guys, because we're used to using one camera. We really are. We only just got used to using two when they start slapping them on phones, guys. And that's another thing about us tech people, you know. We make a big deal about things, but we don't realize that, hey, it wasn't always this way, you know. We only start liking it because they brought two camera lenses, you know. Because if they would have never came up with phones with two camera lenses, hey, you wouldn't have nobody out here complaining about one single camera. Like, you really wouldn't, so... Stop all that fussing and bickering, bickering and fighting about having one lens, about having an LCD, LCD, LCD display, guys. Yes, it's 2018. Yes, it should have a better display, but that's what the uh, Max and the S and the XS is for. You know, this was not made or meant to have the OLED display and that's all right because like I said here we go once again before they came came out with uh OLED and all of that I wouldn't say AMOLED but I can't because Samsung always done AMOLED screens but before they came out with OLED screens guys what were we stuck with we were always had on even on even on on even on some of the Android devices we've had LCD D, LCD displays that's a tongue twister for me guys so just quit quit bickering quit bickering quit quit arguing about it guys because you're ju we're just um arguing about something that's really been a been around for a long time and we're trying to make it a big deal because it's 2018 yes yeah, about to be 2019 but so what the screen isn't horrible apple is not known to make bad bad uh bad screen displays we know that yes it could be a little bit more richer but if you're going to argue about the once or about the camera if you're going to if you're going to argue about having one camera on the back if you're going to argue about having the lcd display if you're going to argue about it not having 3d touch then don't get the device get an xs or get an x max this device here was made for us people you know they have money but we don't want to spend it on the xs because it's a 5.8 inch screen and we don't want to spend it on the to spend our money on the x max because we just don't want to because like i said i could get the x max easily but i just i chose not to get it because i already have a galaxy note 8 that has a big screen you know and i just didn't want a big old iphone like that i really didn't so i went with this 6.1 inch xr and i'm loving it and because it has colors them other the xs and the x max you're not getting blue red yellow coral you're just getting stainless steel gold and that white in uh not stainless steel but you're getting gold that silver whitish looking color in a space gray color you know so th this is a funner phone to look at and to hold and to carry i was in this uh restaurant the other day and the girl was like, wow, is that the new XR? I really love that blue color. So, you know, hey, if you want to get compliments on your phone, you know, you got to step out the box. You got to get something a little flashy. I mean, that's what your phone, you have your phone for anyway. You know, when you're talking on it, pulling out your pocket, you want people to see what you're rocking, especially if you got a clear case on it. What better way to do that than having a blue colorful device guys so just rate comment subscribe to this youtube channel leave some comments in the comment section below i want to know how you guys feel on the scent on the uh iphone xr guys i want to know if you got it or did you skip it or you just don't care about it so just rate comment and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one i'm out